17% of the UK's population lives in social housing. That's almost 4 million households. But all too often, social housing tenants are misrepresented as freeloaders, people who are taking advantage of the system. But who are the people that live behind the doors of the UK's social housing? Louise Holland went to find out. For many, the concept of social housing and those that rely on it conjures up certain stereotypes, the unacceptable faces in society, or stupid, ignorant, lacking political awareness and in need of surveillance and vigilance. At this event in Chester, residents living in and professionals working in social housing came together in order to make their voices heard. As far as I'm concerned, I live in my home, my flat, and my castle. And I've heard lots of people this week, this few days, talking about living on council house estates. Do you not think that we do bring some of the stigma on ourselves by labelling ourselves? Oh, I live in social housing. Right away you're telling somebody what an opinion that they may have of you. The Housing Plus Academy was set up nearly three years ago and is a knowledge exchange and research partnership between 17 leading housing associations and aims to tackle the biggest issues facing housing associations and local authority landlords and tenants. Housing is a hugely important subject and social landlords, both housing associations and councils, are, I think, playing a very vital role in society. Without them, we'd be truly, truly stuck. And of course, at its most simple, that's purely what social housing is for, to give homes to people who can't afford them. But somewhere along the line, prejudice has crept into public perception. What I think it does is totally demoralise and kill people's spirit. People's prejudices override the truth. Everybody is dependent on public services. Who of those people who condemn council tenants doesn't use the health service, doesn't use the school system, doesn't actually live in the country and share in the benefit of being part of a welfare state. We are, as a whole community, a welfare state, whether we like it or not. Tenants are passionate about making sure their voices are heard in the debate we're currently having about social housing in the UK. And their key request is a simple one. Unless we drop the tags that we have given people, this is where we create, we create issues. And actually, the media plays a lot in terms of what people see, what people think. So if the only place that you're getting your information from is a biased view, then that's how you react within your communities. We're not estates, we're communities. communities. If we get our own stigma right, then we're in a better position to go out there and tell the world this is who we are, and we're proud to be who we are. And I'm hoping that what's happened here today will form the start of rethinking social housing which will get back to the government and I'm certainly taking away lots of ideas, feeling empowered and hopefully the knock-on effect will be that we'll improve too.